In the previous videos, we have seen few programs related to patterns. We are extending our study for pattern programming in this lecture as well. So in our 42nd program, we have given this pattern. So just to revise, these will be our row numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and these will be our columns 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So now to repeat this, we will require one for loop and to print these numbers will require another for loop. Now we are sure about this first for loop which we usually write like this for each row. So for printing rows we use this for loop. So these are nothing but your iterations. So we are going to write first loop for iterating n times here. Suppose user has entered 4 then iteration will be for 4 times and for the second loop we need to restrict number of printing these values to the row numbers like in the first row we have printed one number in second row we have printed two numbers in third three numbers and in fourth four numbers. So in the second loop it has to run starting from 1 till your row number. So I am writing second loop j equal to 1 and condition will be j less than or equal to 1 and I am incrementing j by 1 and inside of this loop we are just displaying value of j so that on every row value always starts from 1, 2 and 3 and as soon as value of j equals i then this loop will be terminated and the controller will go on to next line because of this printf slash in statement once the row is printed value of i will be incremented and then the iteration will be continued for the next row so let us see how output will be printed suppose user has entered 5 then this loop will go on for 5 rows starting from 1 till 5 so these 5 rows will be utilized for printing and hence in the first iteration when i will be equal to 1 the condition will be true because 1 is less than 5 and the loop which is inside will execute for j is equal to 1 till j less than or equal to 1 so only for one time value of j will be printed which will be 1 and then cursor will move on to next display unit because of printf flash in it will move on to next line then value of i will be incremented to 2 again the condition will be true and this time loop for j will be executed for two times so it will print 1 and 2 so this whole process will be repeated like this and in the final iteration these values will be printed cursor will be at this location when this for loop is completed and because of slash in it will move on to next line at the end of this loop value of i was 5 which will be incremented to 6 and condition will be checked as 6 less than or equal to 5 which is a false condition hence this for loop will be completed and that will end your program